Hello everyone, so uh, I'm going to have to take uh, you through a walkthrough on how I did the lighting for this scene. So let's start outside. The most important thing is outside. So we are going to change our daytime to night so that you can see these lights in the way they are supposed to be seen. So here goes. So how I basically did it. Uh, I actually put an area light outside the window to to fake or um, to simulate the light coming in from the night. Okay, there a lot of things come into play, but we we have a um, we have a, a a night sky. If you're using Lumion Nine or Lumion Ten, we have the real skies. It's also generating a little bit of uh, light inside. I positioned it in such a way that it contributes to the light inside. So the blue tint you are seeing while you're inside the room comes from this one here. We have an area light here, this square that uh, actually goes halfway through. Oh, it's not fully covering the window per se because I needed uh, to have space for other lights coming in from the skylight. So, uh, what I did with this light, I went with a brightness of 12 and I choose a blue tint. Then I just expanded its width and length. Inside, uh, also, to note, do not forget to use the fall off. I'm going with a fall off of 1.7. The fall off makes the light look much more realistic. Well, once you've, uh, you, you, you are ready to render, you're going to see this. So inside, I'm not having a lot of lights. I'm just having a simple area light. This is another area light. But with this one, I went with a different color. I went with a deep orange towards red. Same thing, but this is a bit bigger because of the size of the room. And that was that. So let's go to the camera so you can see what we did there. So basically, for this scene, let me edit update. Yeah, so for this scene, I went with the night preset, but there are a few things I made some corrections to. First of all, let's go to the color correction. So I, I, I lowered the temperature to about 0 0.1. I went with a tint of 0, 0.0. Uh, brightness 0 0.5, contrast 0 0.5, then I lowered the gamma to about 1.0. I also added a ref some reflection planes down here on the floor. I did not add any reflection plane to the glass outside because I wanted light getting through, not to be reflected outside. So basically that's it. Then another thing to note, you're going to have to use hyperlight. You can either use 50 or turn it all the way up, but I noticed if you turn it all the way up, uh, you're not getting this effect that I was going for. Basically, it uh, takes a lot of things, so I avoided making any adjustments to it, but turn on the skylight, okay? Make sure that skylight in planar reflections is set and skylight in projected reflections. So from this tutorial you can learn that you can basically light the way you want. You can have a multiple number of lights uh, in the lighting up large areas where you want some filters because this light was to simulate moonlight and the light from the pool. There are actually some blue lights in the pool. So with these settings I think you're set. I can share the, Lumi, the settings files if you're interested. But the setting files will not help you if you've not set your lights well. Basically, that's it. So, some other lights to note uh, that are contributing to the scenes are these lights, the spotlights. Okay. I just basically went with a brightness of 36 to 40. I never went past 40. And that was that. So, that is what contributed to me getting this image here. Okay. So I rendered uh, in 4K, you tend to get better results if you render in 4K compared to rendering in 1080p. And you, you, you tend to, to get a, a sharper image and a much more detailed image. Also another thing to note, learn to use your own textures. Do not use Lumion textures unless they are very high resolution ones, like the ones with the a, with a, with a displacement and um, polygon, I guess, textures that are 
link there. Let me see, let me see, let me see. We're already in Lumium, so there's no need to guess things out. So let's go to materials. And let me select the flow material. I think that should give us the right, right mode. Yeah, polygon. So I was right. Actually, Lumion now supports materials from polygon. So these ones are pretty high resolution ones. With these, we are set. But you can add your own. I prefer bringing in your own material. For instance, the wood is my own material. The wood, uh, the wood in all the building, the, the wood at the, at the rooftop. And the doors, I say, this is my own material. So I could get better results compared to the wood materials that were being offered for the doors in Lumion. So that's it. Thank you.